<laughs> Welcome to Superhero Rundown. My name is Lady Jess, and this is Rap Critic, and we saw Fantastic Fail. So, I'm so sorry, number one. Number two, this is the worst Fantastic Four movie ever. So, congratulations, Chris Evans. You officially are the best Johnny Storm. Well, no, that's not true. So, uh, why don't you talk about the movie? Uh, okay. Okay. Are you done crying? I'm just crying over the 90 well, minutes of wasted 100 time. minutes. That doesn't make it better. That just makes me feel worse. <laughs> but we didn't say it for the credits, so maybe, maybe it's 90. This fucking... I don't even call it a piece of shit. Like, it's not even, like, offensively bad. It's just, like... It it's literally feels like someone telling you a story, and halfway through, you're just like, why are you telling me this? Why do I why do I care about what you're saying to me? You know what I mean? Yeah, so here we go. Um, so in terms of seeing this movie, don't. Um, yeah. But we're going to be marking spoilers right now. So, spoilers for Fantastic Fail. Alright, so number one, let's talk about characters okay. first, and then we'll go into there the There weren't any. <laughs> well, that, no, that's that? not true. Okay, there was one. There was one, and he was the black guy. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan was the best character, the be the most well-written character, because he actually... I think the other the other guy, Franklin Storm, dad, was also yeah. the most well-written. The two black guys were the best. The two black guys were the best characters <laughs> in the entire fucking movie, let's just be real. Because it was like, uh, alright, because the, the, the Father, you know, was trying to. You could see that he was trying to, you know, work with younger kids because he felt like, you know, kids had the potential. Especially when it had that one scene about how, like, you know, okay, our generation messed it up, but I do believe that the next generation can make things better. I was like, that's. I cool think speech. that yeah, that was a really cool speech. Like that was like one of the only moments that actually like stood out. Yeah. In the entire movie, but yeah, Michael B. Jordan was a really good character arc. Like basically, he went from. Car drive, and he didn't even appear until like 30 minutes yeah, in. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, and he had the most developed arc, which is really weird. But anyway, so he went from like car driver, he's driving a car. Like and, drag racing. Drag racing. Yeah. He crashes. His dad comes to go get him, who is Franklin Storm. Uh, and I really liked how they actually explained how Sue was adopted. They just like, yeah, she yeah. was adopted from... You know, Kosovo. That was kind of cool. So like, that was kind of cool. Yeah. And, um, and so Johnny, Johnny basically, because Franklin puts his foot down, basically says, Hey, you got your, you built your car from scratch with my fucking money. Yeah, so, so you're going to work for me now. So you get to work for me until you get your car back, yeah. motherfucker. And I was like, all right, like, that, that's a cool little, like, they've got a dynamic going that Yeah, that he's a rebellious teenager. Yeah. And dad is trying to keep him in line. And that's a classic arc, but the way they're doing it is yeah, actually like a little bit works. more updated. Yeah, it And a works. little bit works. And, uh, like, Sue Storm... I don't care about what she's going through. Uh, yeah, she wasn't really, like, there was no real arc other than I'm adopted and I'm smart. And, and, uh, and I'm a love interest. And Mr. Fantastic, who never actually is called that in the movie. Yeah. Uh, he's just, I'm smart. Yeah, he's just, I'm just, ever since a kid, I've just been really smart and have had access to, like, all this shit, even though my parents look, like, middle class. Like, how the yeah. hell does he have access to the shit that he's able to do? Like, no, that needs a better explanation, okay, goddamn. So, 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 back to Johnny, because we should talk about Johnny, then we'll get to the Johnny, other the best character so Johnny, in the movie. So Johnny gets, um, get, goes on this adventure <laughs> with Reed and Ben and Victor, and uh, we'll get to Doom in a second, and oh, okay. how not Doom he was, uh, but oh, hold on, okay. let me finish. Uh, so Johnny goes on this, like, adventure thing, becomes the Human Torch, and he basically, he basically comes back, and he basically says... You know, I feel like the, these powers were pretty much given to me to be a better person, given for a reason. Even though his father disagrees he, with him. He uses his powers the most. He uses his powers <laughs> the most, number one. Number two, his dad disagrees with him, and by the end of the movie, he's like, you know what, I'm kind of okay with the fact that I'm a freak of nature, but that's okay. I'm cool with that. But also, he has the best design. He does. He it, really, do, out of all the Fantastic Four, uh, the Fantastic Four is what I'm going to refer to them as. Oh, those Fantastic Fail. Whatever. <laughs> the fantastic fail. <laughs> it needs two fails in there. 
<laughs> so, um, I really think that Johnny was the best created. Yeah. The best arc. Now, let's talk about Sue. Sue was literally just the love nothing. interest. Yeah. Not even that. They well, don't even, like, play it up. Technically, she was more, like, half a love interest. Yeah. Because Victor really, like, had a couple of scenes where he was like, yo, I see what you're he doing. Just, he just looks over and goes like, I liked her. Like, they don't even have any rapport. Yeah. I don't even think they talk to each other. I think they talk to each other, like, what? Like, they don't even have a, like, like, man, we used to have a thing. No, it's just, the only two, is like two scenes where he just goes, I liked her once. That was, that, that is, that's all we got, as far as, like, character. So, Reed, Reed was, I'm smart, and I know how to pull the power out of anybody in the universe. Mm. Here's the thing. I refuse to believe that they shut down the entire power grid of New York City because New York City yeah, has New York City. separate <laughs> fucking power grids, okay? So the fact that he wiped out all of them, either somebody at the New York State Department of, like, energy fucked up. Or like, it just happened to fuck up at the same time. That <laughs> yeah, or two, like, he was using energy from all of that, which is plausible, but here's the thing. I still don't think, like, you know, the mayor of New York would let that shit fly. Yeah, that should uh, be in jail. Like, that motherfucker should be in jail. caused mass disruption. Like, like, the subway's upset. Yeah, that fucking, would have been a big fucking deal. Yeah, like, the subway's upset, the fucking power's out. Like, <laughs> all right, listen, I remember during Sandy, like, when we had, like, no power below 34th Street, like, that was a fucking big deal. Yeah. This guy just fucking... There's a power outage, and then, oh, we'll just flash forward seven years. Yeah. <laughs> Expecting seven years later, and then reading it in jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. And then when it didn't happen, I was like, "That motherfucker." Okay, here's the thing about this movie: it it moves by fast yet slow. Like, yeah, it's got the weirdest pace in the world. Like lots of things happen, but you don't feel like it feels like it's moving by faster than you think it. Than I, it's like I, I just like I was like I'm no movie expert, but I feel like something else should have happened well, in between. Yeah. Yeah, like like with the with, uh, okay, all the bullshit happens, and then it's just like oh no, we got to do all this, this, and then it just goes one year later. And it's like. Wait a minute, no! Like, fucking Victor so, Mont Doom falls into whoa, the... Whoa, 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 Okay, so Ben... So Ben had a sort of story arc where he had got beat up by his brother. Oh, yeah, the thing that Film Brain brings up. Yeah, so thanks for pointing that out, Matt, because I was actually looking for it the entire time. Um, he said... Ben Grimm says it's clobbering time in this movie because his brother who beats his fucking ass <laughs> says that What's to him when he beats him up. <laughs> When he says it, it doesn't even feel like a payoff. It just feels like I'm about to punch Victor Von Doom, and here's the time where I say it's clobbering time. Yeah, like, it, it doesn't even feel even like, like it's clobbering time. It's just like it's clobbering time. <laughs> yeah, here's where I say this Victor, famous line. Speaking of Victor, I liked Victor Von Doom before he ca became crazy alien. <laughs> when you see him, when you see him, like he shows up and it's like, like after the, the, the cape is revealed and stuff like that, when he like gets up and like this is his like angry moment, he just looks like this little, like he's just like, <laughs> like this little green alien thing and it's just like, uh, are we Here's supposed to be like, oh my god, bow just... before the awesome might of, it looks Horrible. Okay, so here's my biggest issue with the movie. It's not even to do with the pace. It's not even... Okay, here's the thing. I'm about to say the worst thing that anybody could say about a Doom care about Victor Von Doom ever. Julian McMahon was a better Victor Von yeah. Doom. Okay? Julian McMahon, pouty boy, Cole Turner from Charmed, motherfucker, was a better Doom than this guy. Can I say there are two... For people who are like, oh, well, let me just go see an action movie. I just want to see an action movie. There are two fight scenes in this entire fucking movie. And the first one doesn't even happen until about an hour in. First one doesn't happen until an hour in. And even then, it's just like, oh, here, I'm, I'm using my stretching powers. Oh, cool, let's see how this goes. And then Grim just goes, headbutt, and then that's the end of the scene. Like, it's not even like a, oh, snap, isn't this so cool, it's so creative. It's just like, hey, oh, so was that all you got? So Victor, so Victor, my big thing with Victor is when you're going to do a Doom character, 
Doom is important to the Fantastic Four. If Doom is not correct, it all falls apart. Now that's why the first two movies fell apart, was because Julian McMahon was not a believable Doom. Even he is so. a much more believable Doom than this guy, but here's the thing. I did not... Okay, when he first appeared before you got the big reveal of Alien Face, like, he so really... Stupid. He really did have the vibe of Neil before Doom. He really did. And then they like throw back... you can see back... him going towards it. Yeah. yeah. And then they throw back the hood, and I couldn't take him seriously. <laughs> yeah, just I was like, just like, no. Nope. A weird sort of doll. And this like... motherfucker kept looking at me like, going like... I was, I was like, into the, like, every now and then I'd just be like... Are you seeing this shit? Can we can we go now? Like can we can we walk out of this theater? And you kept going like, oh well, I'm afraid I might miss something at the end. You missed nothing. <laughs> there was absolutely nothing that we missed. Once again, two fight scenes. One of it is like it started to ramp up. Oh, this is gonna be cool, and then it dropped. And then the last fight scene was just ridiculous. Like it was just like I'm gonna throw little rocks at you. Physics, physics, like need not apply to this movie. Oh, like, it's stupid. It was it was messy. And here's the thing. It's not even that it's a bad movie, it's... It's an uneventful movie. Yeah. The thing about superhero movies is that if you're going to have a superhero movie, you have to have a fast pace, and you have to be able to... I mean, even the movies that don't have that many fight scenes, at least the witty dialogue actually, like, picks up. Yeah, you, know what you I have mean? the character develop, and, and it, there's a usage of the powers. Like I said, the most power usage you get is, like, grim... In like TV shots, like a little far away. So it's not like, oh, you're in the action and you're seeing it happen. It's kind of like, oh yeah, if you look over there, you can kind of see the, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, that shouldn't be happening. This is supposed to be like the big, mm, look at Grimm destroy shit. Now, here's the thing. Here's, uh, now I just want to talk about Fallout really quick and then we're, and then we're going to be wrapping up for this. Uh, the next, and then I'll just do a couple of quick announcements and then I'll do the bonus episode that's going to go up for patrons. Um, so if you want to, um, at the end of this video, I'm going to put up both our Patreons, uh, both Rap Critic and mine. If you donate to them, you'll get to see his stuff early. You'll get to see my stuff early. I'm doing a bonus episode, uh, later tonight after we go through this bullshit. So it's all going to be, um, at the end of the thing, I'm going to put a title card at the end and I'm going to explain pretty much all are, that. Are bullshit. you telling them what you're going to Yeah, do I'm going to be telling right. them. So anyway... So, um, superhero movies need to be fast-paced. Okay, so, my thing, my final verdict out of, out on Fantastic Fail, Fail-tastic Fail, sorry. fail just double the fail. Uh, Fail-tastic Fail gets zero out of five Iron Mans. It gets zero out of five fucks, because I don't give a fuck about this movie. Okay, so... Here's the thing. The thing about superhero movies is they need to be fast-paced. They need to have character development. Now, they did. The movie did have good things about it. Michael B. Jordan was a really good thing about yeah, this he movie. Yeah, was good. Um, the other black character, uh, oh, the, Franklin the, the, the Storm, yeah, was Storm. was very good as well. And what that means is is that I have a sort of sort of maybe okay hunch about Black Panther now. Marvel Cinematic Universe is really good about, you know, doing their characters correctly for the most part with few switches here and there the, you um, know what, you and know. updating the characters for our time. But the thing is, is that Michael B. Jordan did a really good job in this movie, but the problem is, it is that this movie currently has 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. You know the thing about it is, these, uh, this movie was like the asylum of Marvel movies. Like, it's just like, hey, look, that that's supposed to be, like, what Marvel does, but it's not nearly as fun. You can tell that, like, they had to speed through shit. Like, did, if I told you that was an Asylum film, you would believe me, wouldn't you? Yeah, I probably would. Like, because this is like, why is there, like, not any action happening? Why is there, why does it feel like they're speeding through this so damn quickly? Like, why does it feel like nothing's actually developed? And if I just told you, oh, yeah, you know, it's an asylum film, you'd probably be like, oh, yeah. I mean, it's crazy how they got the rights to it, but, yeah, I can see it happening. You so, know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, you're right. So, Fantastic Four, don't go see it unless you it, really want to punish yourself. No, it's not even worth punishing. You don't even if say you're you bored for two, if you're bored for a hundred minutes, go see this movie. It's not even like if you want to be bored. Like I, I can't even think of a reason why you would want. It's like if you want to see a drama pretending to be an action movie, 
Go see this. Okay, sure. <laughs> like, but who wants that? Nothing makes sense in this universe. No one wants that shit. And the only fallout I could think of is that Fantastic Four rights are going to go back to Marvel yeah. faster. Although if this movie they're bombs re- bad enough, and yeah. enough people go like, "Hey, don't see this, don't see this, don't." See this. Yeah, and the other thing is too is that you know they're rebooting Spider-Man for the third time, so. God damn. I mean, if that's the case, that cow for all it's worth. if that's the case, then um, Fantastic Four is also probably going to get another reboot. I hope. Which, that. which I'd be kind of okay with. See, so um, the thing is, the Spider-Man movies, like the Fantastic Four movies, don't do as well as the fucking Spider-Man movies. They at least well, have people coming to them. No one, two. like no one, was like because that Spy- uh, Fantastic Four movies from the two thousands was so great. We're going to go see that. No, I don't think people are doing that. You know, people at least know what Spider-Man is. They're going like, oh, yeah, uh, Tobey Maguire. Yeah, well, well, I'll take my kid to see the new one. Like, who gives a shit about the Fantastic Four movies? Well, here's the thing. The thing is, is, the first two Fantastic Four movies I didn't really like, but... They were better than this. They were better than this. Yes. I, at least it had comedy. At least it had, like, mo- mo- even if it was just, like, stupid, like, their the way they use their powers is really stupid. I remember that from the first movie. But at least they were doing something with it. At least it wasn't like, here's the powers that's not like just in a screen in the fucking background. Like they actually, and the fight scenes was cooler. I remember there was a part where they like surrounded Victor Von Doom with something. And like he actually like used electricity, like, you know, his actual powers instead of brain blowing up powers. Like, what the fuck? Like, you, what? Can he do that? I remember going like, what? Is that his thing? Can he do that? I remember him being able to do that. <laughs> it was, uh, um, so, uh, upcoming. Uh, for us is uh, I'm going to be in a uh, rap critics vlog on Straight Outta Compton which comes out next Friday. Hopefully it will be a lot better than this. I- yeah it probably will because Dre we'll, produced it. We'll see. Um, Ice Cube. I uh, think it's his Ice Cube name. Andrew. Uh, Andre. Mm. Uh, okay so. Ice Cube Andrew. Yeah sure why not. <laughs> uh, so that movie hurt my brain. Um <laughs> So, the next couple of episodes for me are going to be uh, Superhero Rundown, uh, Arrow Season 1 is going to be coming out uh, after we go see Straight Outta Compton. Uh, Then, Rap Critic and I are doing The Jazz Singer, which will be coming out the week after that. And then, first two weeks of September, um, I'm going to be looking at Agent Carter for Superhero Rundown. And that'll be that. So... That's pretty much it for Superhero Rundown for this edition. I apologize profusely, and I gave you ice cream, Superhero so. fall down, more like run down. There was no running. It was just maybe like a walk down. Like <laughs> a just walk slide, down. A descent. Super, no, 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 no. Okay, this special episode of Superhero Rundown is actually going to be called Superhero Fail Down. Yeah, it's, it's not even like a super. As a matter of fact, don't even give it super title. It's like a sub-hero Subhero like, yeah. fail down. Yeah, subhero <laughs> fail down. Just all the things that are the opposite of what a superhero needs to be is what this movie is. All right. Well, uh, I'll see you guys for Arrow season one, and uh, we will see you guys for Jazz Singer and for Straight Outta Compton later.